Hello everyone, I'm Prakash and I will be presenting a project we've been working on at the Mechanical and Artificial Intelligence Lab at Mechanical Engineering Department at CMU. The title of the project is Blood Pressure Prediction from Electrocardiogram and Photoplethysmogram Using Deep Learning. Blood pressure is one of the most important observable vital for patient health. Abnormal blood pressure has been linked to cardiac and renal health issues. Conventionally, blood pressure is measured using a sphygmomammometer, and as a non-invasive cuff-based measurement, it is easy to use, but it cannot be used for constant monitoring of blood pressure. An arterial line, as shown in figure 1a, can be an alternative and used to monitor the blood pressure constantly on a heartbeat-by-heartbeat -heartbeat basis, but it is an invasive procedure that requires medical professionals to insert the arterial line. The question our lab is trying to answer is that, is it possible to predict the blood pressure from other vitals of the patient which are being recorded non-invasively? To achieve this, we want to use data-driven approaches to design a deep learning model that can learn the relationship between these vitals. Our approach uses the CG and PPG data that are gathered from skin-based biosensor in figure one B, developed by the Rogers Lab at Northwestern University. Using this information, we've developed a deep learning model that learns the underlying relationship between these vitals and predicts the blood pressure for constant monitoring in a clinical setting. The data we've used is from neonatal ICU patients and is shared with us by the Rogers Group at Northwestern University. Since ECG, PPG, and ABP are time series data, we've developed a novel signal transformation technique to denoise and process the signal to make an appropriate video format input for the deep learning model. The combination of ECG and PPG, as shown in figure 2a, is used to generate the predictions for corresponding arterial blood pressure. The peak of ABP waveform and systolic blood represents the systolic blood pressure and the trough represents the diastolic blood pressure as shown by the green dot. We've used a combination of long short-term memory networks and convolutional neural networks to eventually predict the ABP waveform. This combination allows us to understand the temporal differences dependence in the data due to the LSTM network. And the model then learns to extract important features from the data using CNN. This has given us a deep learning model that can accurately predict the ABP waveform for different patients. This model is able to accurately generate predictions, which can be seen in figure 3a and c for two different patients. The peaks and troughs of the, sig of the signal are also well captured and can be seen as plots of systolic and diastolic blood pressure values in figure 3b. This shows that model can accurately predict the long-term variations in blood pressure using ECG and PPG as the input. The figures 3A and C represent four heartbeats worth of data. However, figure uh, 3B and D represent a much longer time scale of approximately 30 minutes. Uh, these predictions for two different patients show that the model can successfully be applied to multiple different patients. To improve this model further, in future, we plan to incorporate more information regarding the pa patient health and other prior information such as the drugs being administered to the patient. In addition, we would be conducting more thorough benchmarking and hyperparameter tuning for the deep learning model. Thank you very much.